So this is my homeless emergency shelter. I've had it out in my yard now for five years, going through the torture test, still holding up. I've been wanting to make some improvements on the design for quite some time now. And with winter rapidly approaching, I figured it'd be a good time to build the prototype. <laughs> This design calls for a 40 inch by 48 inch pallet. I rounded up three of them. Uh, the one I broke up, took those boards and used them to fill in the uh, cracks in between the other two pallets. I couldn't resist trying out this uh, 3 8 inch OSB paneling. It's chipboard and it's very cheap, ten, nine, ten bucks compared to 35 for the exterior ply. I figured a good coat of primer and paint should do fine. To keep the cost down for the roof material, you can use recycled campaign signs. Uh, campaign's still going on, so I just went ahead and bought two sheets for this prototype. So basically I created two halves. Um, just put one sheet per pallet, and then I just taped it together here at the seam. Put my 2 by 4 in the middle to secure it together. Two people can easily pick this up put it in a pickup truck to transport it somewhere, easy enough. Now I didn't want to try to shoot screws right through the edges of the paneling, so I added these little blocks that I uh, made from pieces from the uh, leftover pallet. It was time consuming to make, I had to sand them down to conform to the arc. So I went to Lowe's and was looking around, found this 8 foot strip for $5, plastic trim. And it went on a lot faster, looks a lot cleaner, and this is the option that I, I really like. This is a door latch. It's used for fences actually. Then the string goes down into the floor. Just reach under here, pull the string. So one thing I like about this new design is this uh, little porch that I've created. The overhang's about 18 inches. Allows an occupant to get inside and just hang out, get out of the sun. If it rains a little bit, they can open the door and sit inside. I painted the wood here with porch paint, put a little sand in it, just so it won't be slippery. It should last quite a few years. Some of the original pallet boards were cracked and the add-ons too were a little thinner than the original ones, so I put a piece of carpet down. Here's my three inch foam pad. I have a simple latch here. Kind of like that. With the leftovers from the OSB, I was able to make some shelving. I wanted a room for a backpack, a place to put your shoes. I saw this on the internet and I thought I'd experiment with it. It's just a paint can with a 100 watt light bulb inside. Um, close the lid for nighttime use and it should keep the structure pretty warm. Just use a ceramic socket, screw it to the bottom of the tin can. Here you can see my little battery powered reading light. And below that I've got uh, little two inch in diameter soffit vent caps on the back and the front wall for cross ventilation. You don't want too much ventilation or you'll start losing your heat. And the problem with that is then you get condensation build up on your walls and your sleeping bag. To resolve that issue, I'm experimenting around with a dehumidifier using a gallon paint can. Fill it up with charcoal on the top, moisture collects in the bottom, and drains outside. So I like the way this came out. It's pretty nice. Uh, you've uh, eliminated some of the cost using the two pallets for the floor. It's also in, got the uh, structure up off the ground, uh, adding a little more insulative value. Plus, you can now tilt it uh, on uneven ground, and it won't blow away. It's got some weight to it. The wooden door allows you now to lock it up a little better than the uh, previous door. It's still coroplast. A person could get in here with a box knife, but still adds a sense of security. I still envision this particular design for, say, a church group who wants to build these and put them on their parking lot in case uh, some of the homeless shelters are full and you get some of the outpouring people needing a place to stay in the dead of winter. It's not really uh, meant for 
anyone to live in, per se. But anyway, that's the way I've designed this, uh, according to the shelves and being able to put your backpack there and your shoes and little heater, little light. But you can turn this into whatever shelter you want. It can be a little playroom, little yoga room, place to read, place to just escape, or a little, you know, room for someone's coming to visit. So this is going to outlast the tent. Not bad for around 70 bucks, I think I paid for all the material. So anyway, food for thought. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.